Hello everyone, this is Amrit. Welcome to the very first video of this exciting project series where we will be building a full stack movie ticket booking system just like Book My Show and District. And, it, and the special thing is that this app supports real-time seat locking so that two users can't book the same seat for, at the same time. In this video, I'm going to talk about the tech stack that I'm going to use to build this project. And after that, I'm going to show a quick demo of the UI and real-time seat locking. Okay, so please stay tuned with this video. And if you find this video helpful, please like, subscribe and share with your friends. Okay, now let's start. Now let's talk about the tech stack behind the, our project, which I have named as book my screen. Okay. This is not just another clone. We are building a real world scalable movie booking system with real time seat locking, modern architecture and production grade features. So on the front end side, we are using react JS, tailwind JS, react context API for managing global state, react router, cloudinary, react query for data fetching and front end cache. On the backend side, we are using Node.js plus Express.js for to build scalable and modul modular REST APIs, TypeScript to add type safety, improve code quality, and prevent runtime errors. We are following a, basically we are following a clean architecture using controller, service, middleware, and interfaces for better maintainability. Now for secure user auth, we are using JWT access plus refresh token both and OTP authentications so user can log in via email or mobile number without needing a password okay now the extra features that is razor pay for payment integration which i will definitely do and admin dashboard that is optional okay and the most important feature that is seat locking which is the heart of our project that i that is that is built using socket.io for real-time two-way communication and it is powered by redis in memory database for locking and store the selected seats okay so this is the about our tech stack now let's jump into the demo okay this is our home page our design is heavily inspired by book my source user experience with some ui tech element taken from district for that modern and minimal feel so uh, this is the home page having a carousel headers and recommended movie section once i click on this movie then you will redirect it to movie detail section where you will see all the details of that movie and a theater listing here this will happen according to your real time location this is my current location and according to that theater listing will happen okay and you can change the date dates as well so if any any no show is available then uh message will displayed here no source available for selected dates now let me click on any of this so okay so this is the interactive seat map which we are going to build okay and you can click on any of the seats and by clicking on proceed you will initiate the booking process okay so and and the last thing that is the profile section that is this is our profile page and this is the orders page okay so once your ticket is booked you can see your ticket here as well okay so this is the basic ui so one more page that i want to show you that is see all where you can see the all movies and here filters is present you can add the filters as well okay so this is the basic ui this is the ui that we are going to build now let me show you the actual thing that is real time seat locking okay so currently i'm logged in with my account now let's click on f1 movie and select 6 30 am so and i'm going to select here d9 and 10 seat okay now let's click on proceed okay so a timer is started here so i have to book that seat within one one minute okay now let's open in another incognito window with different account so here location is fetching okay so this is not logged in currently if i click on f1 movie and this so then you can see that 
the both the seats are locked currently okay so these two seats are locked because uh, another person is locked another person locked that seat okay that's why it's it is showing locked now let's select seat number 9 and 10 for for this user but i am not logged in right now with different in my in, in incognito mode so if i click on proceed it will ask for login so i will write my email id here and click on continue so i will write my otp here okay so right now i am logged in now let's click proceed again again okay so seat 9 and 10 is also logged now let's okay now let's change the browser and now let's go to the f1 movie and so 6 30 am yeah you can see that both the seats are locked but these two seats getting unlocked because timer is expired here okay that's why so this is all about the seat locking now we will build this in our upcoming videos so please stay tuned with the video and if you find this video helpful please like subscribe and share with your friends so that's all for this video thank you